Um, so today I'm going to be talking about pro proper integration of special ed students in general ed schools works because it benefits schools. Uh, definition is integration, an active instance of combining into an integral whole. The, um, my, sec my first claim, the whole school population benefits from having the special ed students because it teaches them how to function in a society. Uh, parents are also affected by this because they need reassurance that their kids are being treated fairly. Also, um, it allows special ed students to be in a more natural environment so they aren't secluded to one room all by themselves. Uh, the second claim is studies have proven it's a good thing to have special ed students in a general school. A uh, national uh, longitudinal transition study shows students with disabilities that go to general ed classes have fewer absences and score higher in math and reading tests, which helps the school as well. And in the long run, they can get a paying job and live in non-segregated housing. The third claim is integration of special ed students into the general education population um, as positive effects on the society. At my old high school, the Quinta High School, uh, the football team invited the, the special ed kids to sit with them during lunch and also to walk with them at the pep rallies. Also, our Tough Guys and Gals, which is a dance team, um, invite the special ed kids to dance with them during the spring pep rallies. So everyone sees them, they coordinate, and they have partners, so they feel a part of the school. And it has a positive effect among the kids. They have, it brings a sense of unity, not only to the general ed kids, but also the special ed kids, and helps society to see special ed students not as a burden, but as part of the society. All right, Claudia, the subject is identified, but you've got a couple of definitions in the proposition that makes it a little bit confusing. And by the time that's clear, you're already on the first point of your uh, argument. I thought at first that you were previewing the argument, but as I was listening, it suddenly dawned on me, this isn't a preview anymore. You're already in the first point presenting information on that point. Uh, there was one piece of information that referred to uh, you know some po some potential beneficial outcomes, but I it didn't sound to me like it was a, a quote or an authority. It sounded like a series of claims that are being used to support another claim without any evidence on that particular point. Uh, the second point did make a reference to studies. Um, I think you need to cite those studies a little bit more specifically and show how significant a difference it is. Otherwise, it's all hypothetical information that you're presenting on the first point and on the second point where you're referring to something that's a little bit more concrete, it's very vague. The third point is supported basically by an example, a personal experience, and I think that's the least kind of controversial part. There's nothing wrong. I don't see, think anybody thinks that there's anything wrong with integrating uh, special needs students in social contexts and situations. If there's any controversy about the subject at all, it is mostly about mainstreaming in classrooms. And you don't really explain why there would be a controversy on that particular issue uh, when it involves uh, teaching time, uh, classroom management issues, um, you know, the productivity of other students in the class, not just the students who are being mainstream, but the ones who are in the mainstream classes to begin with, that seems to be like where there would be some uh, dispute. And you don't give enough of a context here to know why anybody would object to having special needs students in these classrooms and why there's a controversy about it. So I think that's a little bit problematic. The speech is underdeveloped and you're reading it uh, too quickly. And um, like I said, I think there's not a lot of evidence to support some of these points. All right, thank you.